is Aurora on the true 5 star that came out of the 5.2 patch and not Chaska. Now, Aurora is actually a pretty special case. He is a character exactly like the one in his trial. He's kind of like Shing Cho. The only difference is that he has Night Soul aligned stuff that make him maybe slightly a little worse because it's just a little intricate versus Shing Cho, which is very easy, just a lot of damage and straight off the bat. But the only thing I needed to tell you about Aurora in general, Aurora Aurora is that he is pretty freaking good and i'm saying this because he does a lot first of all you get a little bit of a thing whenever you use your elemental skill that you get energy recharge even when you're off field or not recharge but just energy in general this will help you with a lot of the energy problems that you might have with some teams with his other stuff like his elemental skill and elemental burst you're able to do a little thing that allows you to deal damage over time with it being electro so with a lot of teams that might need electro charge he's a fantastic pick uh, a niche pick but definitely a fantastic one yeah he's definitely a unique character that i feel like is definitely definitely good and very good for the genshin ecosystem as well is he i think he's the true star of the show between chaska as well as aurora now obviously chaska being the five star character she's cooler she can fly and she has a lot of very very cool stuff with her kit making her able to do a um, certain elemental align damage which is pretty awesome in my personal opinion but i do think that uh, she is a little bit less longevity proof than someone like uh Roran. Roran has a lot of value he brings something to the table that usually you know characters in the past would have but now we have a Roran, and I'm kind of very hopeful of what he can do. So you throw his elemental skill, it kind of passes around like that. You use the burst, and you can pretty much switch off him. You start doing some hydro damage, and he will be doing some electro charge over time. So, yeah, um, he also needs to have hydro on these characters. He needs to have the electro charge situation going on, and that is where his true value comes into play. And it's actually a decent amount of damage that you can deal, which is really, really nice. You can switch off to a character like uh, Sucrose or uh, maybe even a damage dealer type situation. So you can have Chaska even in here. Yeah, that works. Um, or any other animal character would work just as well. Maybe with maybe Viridescent or something like that. And they will be pretty fine. But it doesn't have to be Viridescent in general. It can be the new set, the Cinder City. And they will work just as nicely. Now you'd be like, well, it's, I'm, I'm using the burst, I'm using the skill, it's not, you know, properly working. Well, that's because you need to have it so you do electro charge damage for it to work in general. So if we go to his elemental skill, you see that you have the jumping mechanic with his elemental skill. And then with his burst, just deal AoE damage, right? But what you need to look at is his passive. Now, when other party members do hydro, electro, and then do electro charge, whatever, they'll gain five nitro points and you get certain nitro points back. But when the electro charge reaction happens, you will deal nitro line damage and then it will you'll go into a state with the Roran and he'll deal the nitro line electro damage for 160% of a Roran stack, which is really nice. And to the four nearby opponents. I don't think they need to be affected by the elemental skill, but yeah, that is that is what I think. So if we can find an opponent here, okay, there we go, they spawned, we use this, and then we go here, we do electro charge, it will still work. You don't have to technically use the burst, right? So, but if we use the burst anyway, and then we do some electro charge damage, um, it, yeah, you see, it, it, still, it still works, which is really awesome. And I'm glad that you don't have to be really dependent on either or the stuff. Um, so yeah, as long as electro charge happens, we're pretty much chilling. So let's do this and then let's do this. It should still work. Yep. There we go. You guys see on the top right or just the right side of the screen or around, you see on the bottom of this thing, we have a little thing going on. Yeah, that is what I'm talking about here. So we do this, we do official, it should still work, which I think is pretty awesome. Obviously you need to, you know, have electro charge, you know, popping off and stuff and then it will uh, work just like that. Yeah, definitely a character that is worthy 
of talking about here. Like, Aurora has so much potential in future character stuff and is not just limited to, you know, what he is. He can be in teams with electro charge, he can be in teams with other stuff, he can uh, really just output a lot of damage. For again, he's a niche character, needs electro charge, but because he's niche, that's what also makes him really good. Now, is he the true five star between Chaska as well as you know Aroron? I I I can't say he he is the true five star. I just well uh, I just wanted to ask the question if he was because he just really is good. He's definitely the Shinkcho of Natlin, which I think is really awesome. But I think Chaska still takes the cake because well she's a five star character and she can fly. That's that's pretty much <laughs> that's pretty much it. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, let me know in the comments if you guys uh, poll for Ronald or Chaska or any of those characters. And yeah, let me know how it went. See you guys in the next one very soon. Goodbye.